I'm back. I kind of went missing <laughs> for a few weeks, um, but it was pretty hectic and baby is here. Um, so I just, this video is going to be a story time of an update of the, the last bit of my pregnancy. Um, and then I will have a birth vlog up for you and um, we'll take it from there because a lot has happened. But if I went straight into the birth vlog, it wouldn't really make much sense to you. So um, I had planned to do a 37 week update and things just got away from me and it was all pretty hectic. So if you're following me on social media like Instagram and TikTok, I've been updating the most probably on TikTok. Like the most up to date those links will be in the description um but yeah i'm just gonna jump right into it so i i think i left you with my pregnancy updates where i wasn't sure if i was going to be induced or not but we were pretty sure that was going to happen so at 36 weeks i went up um for my appointment in hollis street um and if you are new here this is all because i had anti-k antibodies during my pregnancy, which can cause um, anemia, um, hemolytic disease of the newborn, I believe it's called, and jaundice. Um, so it can be quite serious um, and quite dangerous. So we were monitoring that all the way through the pregnancy. I'll have a pregnancy playlist. I will link here. Here, I think it's here. Um, so yeah, then anyway, at the 36 week appointment, they booked me in for the induction on the 30th. I actually had to go up on the 29th of the evening. Um, so that I was 37 weeks. And now they had me at 37 plus five, but my hospital here had me at 37. And I think that's the right one. Um, so, so I was booked in for a week's time to go up and have my induction. Now Eddie, tested positive for COVID that day that when I was 36 weeks pregnant and I tested positive for COVID on the Friday morning. Um, I didn't have any symptoms but my two little girls, Kyori and Nonin, had a bit of a temperature the night before and that morning of the Friday and I was due to go in for an iron infusion in my local hospital and um, that morning so I rang and so I said I better do an antigen test just to be sure and of course I had COVID. Um, so I rang them, I went in for the iron infusion. I will insert a bit of a, my TikTok say of what happened there. I had a good cry this morning. I woke up and my, both my girls had temperatures so I did an antigen test on myself and I have COVID. I was due to go in for an iron infusion into my hospital and they said to come in anyway they put me in an isolation room but when I got there I was tachycardic so they put me on um, some fluids before they gave me the iron inf infusion they gave me an injection for my nausea as well which really helped but I just my my heart rate just never came down so they admitted me this made me laugh do not touch <laughs> um and i tried to go to sleep they just put me in an isolation room and they actually ended up keeping me overnight because i had a very high heart rate um, and they couldn't bring it down um and i so i was sick with covid i was very low on iron and my iron had dropped down again um so they kept me in overnight they gave me two bags of fluid and the iron infusion um and it also turned out that a few weeks before that when i was in i don't know if i updated this i think i did i went in with one of my um clinic appointments and i thought i was just very tired and run down and low on iron and it turned out I had they thought I had a kidney infection well I actually had rhinovirus or something is called um so they had never told me that they did a covid swab and they're like you're negative for covid but I had rhino rhino rhinovirus I think it's called some kind of flu um I had so no wonder I was so worn out and tired <laughs> um and then 
So anyway, that was fine. I came out of the hospital. I didn't sleep at all in the hospital. I was wrecked. And then that night that I came home from the hospital, I slept like the dead. It was the best sleep I had in months. And it's the best sleep I've had since. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that stood to me. But on the Tuesday then, so I had to inform the hospital that I had COVID. Um, so the plan was to go ahead with the induction. Now they told me Eddie could come in with me it would be an isolation room and he just couldn't leave. We couldn't come and go. So once he was in, that was it, we were in there. But other than that, my care would be the same. So that's what I was going into it believing. Um, I went up on the Tuesday evening. So the plan was I would go up on the Tuesday evening um, and they would give me the gel in my cervix to ripen my cervix and they would break my waters at 6 a.m. the next morning so that's sort of the last bit of the pregnancy I was completely wiped out I was so tired um, and they were kind of saying to me they were kind of putting me off like getting the iron infusion here in my local hospital because they were like oh you won't have time for it to work but I was thinking god I, it will help me afterwards surely and I'm glad I did get it because um, I needed the fluids I needed other things so um, it kind of all worked out good in that sense but yeah so the week before going up the five days before going up um to be induced were very stressful with the covid with the low iron and being admitted to the hospital here um it was just a lot of stress um and it was very strange going up to Dublin knowing that I was going to be induced. Like, at the, I've never known when I was going to have my baby, you know, that kind of way. So, um, it was a much different experience. Um, so the video after this will be the birth vlog. And then I will do story time of what happened after the birth. Because it was all very traumatic. It's okay now. Um, baby is here. She is happy and healthy. So far, she's doing great, um, but it has been a lot. Um, and I will get into that in the next couple of videos. But thank you so much for watching. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're not already. And little baby noises. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.